welcome back guys today in this video we are not actually going to develop any feature but rather i'm going to talk about how i have automated the process of running php code standard or rather the php code sniffer which runs through all my php files and ensures that the formatting of those php files are consistent now when you work in a team you will face situations where different team members have different way of writing code for example you know where in my team i have a you know, few of my team members who write their if conditions like this versus like this right now when it is a small small piece of code right you don't worry too much but when you need to do a lot of code review the standards or the code formatting does help a lot it helps me quickly go through uh, code reviews and save time so what i do is i implement this git hook which is called the pre commit hook available uh, through you know a uh, npm package and i run that php code sniffer which ensures that the files which are you know staged on git runs through that code sniffer and my code formatting is consistent no matter how the developer has written it right so on this code base right this react spa laravel typescript you will see that i have a client folder which has its own set of you know npm packages but the main folder now on the master branch has this package.json and this .phpcs uh, files now what is that so today we are going to look at how we can configure phpcs and ensure that all the staged files are automatically executed with that rule so right now i'm on my development branch this is already in place in my master branch so in the development branch what i will first of all do is let's just add there are two packages which we need to uh, think about one is husky okay and the second one is as you can see link lint staged okay these are added once I do that, right, basically what happens is Husky is an NPM package which allows or rather without any configuration, with zero configuration, it allows me to get into the hooks of Git, right? So in this code, you can see in Husky, I am looking for hooks and specifically the pre-commit hook, right? So this pre-commit hook basically deals with all the files which are staged for commit okay so let me go to vs code my npm modules are installed so why don't we go into package.json and in here sorry um, first of all i have one more package which is lint state so i spoke about husky husky and how it allows us to get into the hooks of uh, git but the lint staged right this is the package which allows me to look for certain kinds of files okay like in this example so the next package is lint staged this package allows me to look for certain kinds of files in our case star.php files right and we can run certain commands on those files so if you see basically what i'm saying is any php file so star.php i need to run this command which is php it will go inside the server vendor bin php cs fixer it will fix all the issues which it can find and my configuration file is .php cs okay so we have package.json we have yarn lock which is automatically created once i have done this why don't we copy this and this paste it in here so we have the lint staged and we are saying that when the git pre commit hook is called this particular command will be executed 
and now the only thing which is pending is this .php cs file so why don't we create that and i will get that file from this place as well so this is a simple file which has certain rules defined in it so we are creating a finder and we are you know passing it certain um, options like this is my in directory i need to exclude these folders so obviously i don't want to process anything which is inside bootstrap storage or vendor i am looking for files with name star.php okay name this not name this i'm not looking for star.blade.php those have their own set of um formatting so i am not you know reading those i am ignoring dot files and i am ignoring vcs as well okay and with that finder i am setting out certain rules i am following psr2 my array syntax should be short so it doesn't have that array and then brackets ordered imports and no unused imports is true and i set the finder so this is my file and this is my package.json right so with this done the last file which i want to create for you to you know before demonstrating the git thingy is the git ignore file because the moment i hit git add right a lot of unnecessary files will get added and i don't want that so dot git ignore i add these um directives here especially the node modules right and it's kind of done i would say so inside server we'll go into config app okay and then i do this kind of a weird thing okay hit save now one more important thing which i need to do is if you remember right i am using php cs fixer which means if i go into this server folder okay inside my composer.json i should have somewhere yes this this is important okay because we are looking for the binary inside the vendor folder which is only possible when we have that you know installed so oops composer require this okay so the installation of php cs fixer is done so i'll just quickly give you a demo of what will actually happen okay so as you can see this is the file right now when i run this code not here i'm going to the root i run this you can see my code formatting was changed right however it did it on all these files because i ran that on the entire folder however in our case it will be running only on those files which are staged so um if you look at all these files right what is there in user.php it removed the must verify email trait or the class because it was not being used so if you remember we had this rule which said no unused imports so that thing will be taken care of right auth service provider the gate class will be removed because it is not being used so you see there are a lot of such things which are okay so i have not added that space after comma so all the small small things will be taken care automatically however in our case it will happen only for the files which we are which are staged okay so right now i, ra I ran that on this terminal but ideally i would want that to run when i'm doing a git commit right so i'll get that thing back again here okay and uh, first of all why don't i stage um no i won't stage anything so 
let me quickly check everything before we run the commit so this is fine i have set up lint staged and i'm looking for all php files which are here using husky okay the rules files is added which is on the root of my folder so far so good i have installed the package cs fixer php cs fixer in the server code base so i think i'm good to do that open up my terminal git add git commit checking git hooks don't we try it on the main terminal i think there are some problems with my um terminal inside vs code so git status i have no php file so i'll just change that and i have two files in here so git add this and then git commit messages checking php cs fixes oops okay and now it is running those pre commit husky hook okay preparing running tasks applying modifications and cleanup so now if i go here you can see that the file has actually been properly taken care of right so yeah that's how this things works just to confirm we will pick up one more example why don't we go inside our user.php file okay and let's just say um what can we add in here rather api.php so this is in use why don't we remove this route now we are doing it only to test so git add git commit messages checking git hooks running it ran the checks and now if i go here hmm, the user controller should have been removed okay i made a mistake let's just try one more time before we call it a day so what can we do i think this this thing should work uh, i will do this and i'll add some spaces over here okay i will remove this logger okay and let's for some time add this as well okay so this is my current state of the home controller and there's a lot of things which are not done properly so last thing i mean last try rather i'll run this and everything seems to be back in proper formatting so the use of class is gone you know, these things have come down based on the you know typical formatting this the unnecessary spaces have been removed and yeah we have a very consistent looking code base to work with so that's about it guys that's how i you know, have this configuration in place in my code base husky with lint staged so that we can get those formatting in place if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel